especially being on a rooftop, you cannot grow trees because there just is not enough soil for them to be. But you do want that height. Take a look how clever Jan and his team were. They created these steel umbrellas with the star jasmine that's going to climb up them and eventually fill up the whole umbrella, giving you the height. Plus, they've been extra clever and put some lighting around them. So as the sun sets, we're gonna watch these guys just come alive. And it really does add the height and dimension that we're all looking for within a garden space. But I think this is so funky. Underneath them, they've used the beautiful philodendron xanadu, which is great, can grow in a lot of sun and in a lot of shade, and really doesn't get much taller than this. And you can just see how it really has been used to soften the edges. And next to it, the Durantashina's gold, which is that lovely golden lime green. As a companion plant, they work so well together. The lime green and the dark matte green that's been used of the philodendron is such a great combination. And with this awesome steel umbrella coming out of it. I think it's completely, utterly cool. We often speak about dividing your garden into different rooms and how they can be achieved, well, either by building walls or by putting up hedges. But take a look at this. Behind me, freestanding lattice has been used to divide this garden into the different sections, which of course adds interest and just to add that bit of drama into your garden. What I like about the lattice is that it has been treated, yet it hasn't been painted with a type of varnish. So it's been left to weather. Also, the different thicknesses of the lattice strips that goes across it really works well and just adds that bit of texture into the garden. Also, by creating different aspects, the curving of the decking that's been used really does just lead you from one area into the other. And of course, within every garden, we always worry about textures. So by creating beautiful linear plants with the stuccoed wall, the little pebbles, and then the smooth deck. Look at all those textures in such a small space, but yet they're simple, and that's what makes it work. I really am loving it. The sound of running water in any garden adds an extra element. And certainly here, you can't even hear the traffic. We're in the middle of the city. And yet this water feature does just the job. Drowning out the noises of the city, plus adding that extra beautiful element into the garden. And even if you're on a rooftop, you can still have a beautiful water feature. Plain and simple, with a bit of stainless steel, the water dribbling through it, and into this lovely pond. The pond is also nice and shallow, so you don't need to worry about it being safety issues. And of course, the pebbles just below it really just finish it off. And as simple as that, with the illusion that the water feature is going right across the decking. However, it's just two separate ponds. And for me, that works well. Water in any garden does just add that extra dimension to it. Now, here's a great plant. This guy is called Liriope Evergreen Giant. Can grow in the full sun or in the deep shade. And just look how beautifully it works by softening the hard surfaces. So against the decking and the trellis work at the back here, just by billowing over, it really does work. So if there's a plant that you're worried about, putting in an area that's not gonna grow, or if you're not that green-fingered, well then, Liriope Evergreen Giant is the guy for you because it certainly will never disappoint. The sun is setting, the lights are on, and the garden is coming to life. Literally in a completely new aspect. Look at these beautiful pots that have been lit, the lighting on the sides of the trellis work, and also the lighting around those beautiful metal trees that were created. It really is so beautiful. And once again, it shows you that your garden can be enjoyed during the daytime. And don't forget that critical element to enjoy the garden at night. When the lights come on, it really is a tranquil place where you and your family could enjoy their time. And I have loved this garden. It really is hugely inspiring. And I know that we're gonna take a lot away from this to be able to inspire you as well in your garden. Oh, 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 oh,